Dan, hey, can you um, explain me what setup we've got in the car? So we have our uh, our embedding system now running with the uh, brain chip Akida. Ah, yeah. Where is that? Can you point that out to me? Yeah, this little green thing with flashing lights. Okay, and what is that? Is that is that like a? It's um, a neuromorphic chip. Neuromorphic chip. Okay, and what what what, what benefit is that for um, the setup? Well, it's uh, it's allowing uh, fast processing of uh, small AI applications with low power. So okay, perfect for 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 embedding these devices. Okay, can you show me some of those AI applications? I Bogdan, I just get in the car so I can see them better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, what are some of the AI apps that we have? Well, the whole system uh, it's analyzing the body pose. So it's detecting the each driver independently, which is labeled as driver, co-driver, passengers, and so on. Then each driver independently, it's uh, it's uh, it's analyzed for uh, facial landmarks and head pose, which are which are needed for 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 the whole system. Also emotions, age, gender, and face identification. Okay, and, and that's coming from a camera inside the car. Yes, the camera is uh, up here. Okay. Connected to to the board, powered by the by the car system, and also a screen for 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 us to to work on and demonstrate, which is not necessarily mandatory. Okay, great. Uh, can can we go for a drive and see how it works? Yes, of course. Buckle up. So you can tell me about the uh, driver monitoring system and what it does. Okay, so our driver monitoring have uh, multiple capability. One of is the whole, the whole body pose. So we understand uh, how the driver is positioning inside the car, as you can see on the, on the video. So we have the information of if he put his hand on the wheel, uh, if uh, the steering wheel, uh, if he's uh, yawning, yawning uh, have different, uh, yeah, drinking. Uh, drinking bottle, whatever. And also we have all the information of the gaze, so we know where the driver is looking at. That's very important, if he's distracted or not. So like and attention of attention, the driver. Attention, yeah, exactly. Okay. So we have all the region of interest where the, the driver is looking at. And uh, like this, the car can also maybe give some warning to the driver because it's doing something that yeah, it's not correct. So uh, can you tell me a bit about hardware challenges of this application? Yeah, so the other challenge was really to embed uh, either um, uh, NVIDIA chip where we can do high power processing or, uh, and also have the capability to have this new Aikida brain chip where we have the capability of oh, who is uh, good at low power uh, consumption, uh, have the new neural network capabilities and also self, self training. Okay, so that means like you, you can do some learning on device? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So that so, that could. What, what what are the applications of that in the car? I think in the car is also to understand uh, because we have different type of person can drive the car and the the chip can learn based on the different person that came as driver and it can learn by, uh, learn by itself. And uh, does that need the cloud to do that learning? And that's the most advantage is we don't use cloud. We don't have any internet connection from that board. And, Okay, so it's like fully autonomous, fully autonomous uh, and no internet required. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's great. Okay, so uh, obviously the software has to work every time that it goes uh, at changing lighting conditions. Yeah. And so it, it's important that we go through like tunnels and the, all the system continues to work, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's important because uh, you don't want your system to stop because you're in a tunnel or, or you're driving by night. So that's important to have all the capabilities. Different lighting conditions. Okay, that's great. Um, so, how how long? Uh, so, how long has this sort of been tested, and, and and when is that? When are these systems going into cars? Uh, I think twenty twenty five. Let's say. Yeah. So so pretty soon. Pretty soon. Yeah. I think that's the near future, and uh, now we're just developing. We are in the developing phase, and I think it's going to be yeah, sell in next generation car. That's coming out in 2025, I guess. Cool. Great. Look forward to it. Yeah.